Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, where it's not about the pose and you don't have to be perfect. Hi, I'm Leslie Fightmaster. Today's class is a 45-minute Hatha yoga practice. If you believe these yoga videos help make the world a better place, then share it with a friend. Sit up tall, bring your hands together, take a deep breath. May your practice help you to connect to your body, mind, and soul. Practice being kind to yourself, and then your kindness will naturally extend out to others. I'm releasing your hands. We're going to make our way into Baddha Konasana. So, soles of feet together, knees apart. Sit up nice and tall if you have any issues with the knees. Then put some blocks or pillows underneath your outer thighs. Lengthen through the spine. If it's hard to sit up, sit up on the edge of a blanket. You can stay seated or hinge from your hip creases and come forward. Keep your spine nice and long and keep your breath nice and steady in and out through the nose. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Inhale to come up. And then take your left hand to the right knee, right hand behind. Lengthen as you inhale and begin to twist as you exhale. Every time you inhale, create length through your spine, and then as you exhale, you might twist deeper. Come to center, right hand to left knee, left hand behind, lengthen, inhale, and exhale to twist. Take another breath here. And then make your way back to center. Extend your right leg out and keep the left knee bent. Inhale, both arms up and turn toward the straight leg and exhale, extend forward. Taking Janu Shirsasana. So again, try and keep your spine nice and long. Instead of rounding in the upper back, lead with your chest. You can have your hands anywhere along that straight leg. But pull the toes back and keep the heel pressing down to firm the leg. Again, any issues with your knee on the bent leg side, then just keep a pillow underneath the thigh. Keep the breath steady, relaxing shoulders. And then head up on your inhale, take your arms all the way up. And then exhale, take the arms down. And now straightening out the left leg and bending the right. Pull the left toes back, reach up, inhale. Turn your torso a little bit toward the straight leg and hinge from the hips to come forward. Again, you can place your hands anywhere along that leg. If you have a yoga strap, you could always use that as well. And lead, lean forward from your chest, keeping the spine long. So instead of thinking head to knee, think belly to thighs. Keep pulling the toes back of that straight leg to keep the leg engaged. And we always want to engage the opposing muscles of the muscles that we're stretching. So we're stretching hamstrings, we keep quadriceps engaged. Keep the breath steady. In and out through the nose, and then head up, inhale, reach the arms all the way up, come to center, and release. Crossing at your shins, roll forward, making your way into extended child's pose. Keep the arms in front of you, shoulders distance apart. Now spread your fingers, press into the base of your fingers, and start to lift up through your inner upper arms, your biceps, as your triceps, the outer upper arms, wrap down. Inhale to table. Inner elbows coming a little forward. Step your right foot up by your right hand. And tuck your back toes under. Now interlace your fingers and rest them on top of the right thigh. Make sure the right knee is over the ankle and pull your right hip back. Lift your hip points up towards your lower ribs and lengthen through your sitting bones. Breathing here. Option to inhale and reach the arms up. Palms facing in toward each other. Relax around the neck. 
you pulling that right hip back, sending the left hip forward. Take another breath here. We're gonna hold these postures a little bit longer today. So bring your hands down and return to table. Now we'll step the left foot up by the left hand. Make sure the knee is over the ankle, tucking back toes under. You can keep the back toes untucked if that's more comfortable for you, but I feel it gives more stability. Interlace your fingers, let them rest just above your left knee, and then lift your chest and widen your collarbone. See if you can find more length in your spine. And then inhale, option to add the arms. As you add your arms, if you do, Draw your front ribs down. So take a nice long exhale and let those ribs draw in. But keep lifting up through the back ribs, the back body. Lengthen your tailbone down and pull your left hip back. Releasing the hands, return to table. With the hands just a little bit in front of the shoulders, shift forward and lower all the way to your belly. Have everything touch at once. Interlace your fingers or hook your thumbs behind you. Inhale, roll the shoulders away and lift up for Shalabhasana. Feet are hips width apart, so lift your inner thighs up as if you're holding a block between the legs. Keep the back of your neck long as you breathe here. Strengthening the back muscles. And then release, rest your forehead down or rest one ear. And then we'll do this again. So remember, interlace the other pinky or thumb on the top, press your pubic bone down into the floor, lengthen sitting bones to heels and roll the shoulders up as you lift. Lengthen the neck. Keep the crown of your head moving forward. Inner thighs lifting up. And breathe. Nice, long, smooth, ujjayi breaths through the nose wherever possible. And release and rest. Bring your hands by your low ribs with elbows up, toes tucked under. Press up to the knees. Walk your hands a little in front of the shoulders and then lift the knees for down dog. Arms, shoulders, distance apart, and then walk your feet about as wide as your mat. Turn your triceps back, those outer upper arms. Press a little extra into the thumb and first finger sides of your hands. And now focus on creating length in your spine. Pressing back, moving the weight up toward the hips and down toward the heels. Firm the leg muscles if you can. Walk your feet to hips width apart. And then look forward, bend the knees, and step your feet forward. As you inhale, lengthen your spine, come halfway up. On your exhale, fold and bend your knees as much as you need. Let your head hang, shake your head yes and no for a moment. Then come halfway up again, inhale, sweep the arms out, around and up, keep the front ribs drawing down, and exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Coming to Tadasana, feet hips width together or big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Inhale, sweep your arms up, exhale, hinge from your hip creases to fold. As you inhale, lengthen halfway up. As you exhale, step your right foot back and take your right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Keep the left hip drawing back, ribs and belly in. Exhale, return the hands to the floor, come to plank. Knees can be up or down as your choice. Shift forward and lower to your belly. So you shift forward about an inch before you lower. Then inhale, peel the chest up for cobra a lower or a higher one, press all 10 toenails down. Then tuck the toes, press up to plank, knees can be up or down, lift your hips back into down dog. As you inhale, float your right leg back and up from the inner thigh. Exhale, lightly step it up by the hand. If it doesn't make it there, pick it up and put it. Take the left knee down, rise up for low lunge, sink forward, pull the right hip back, 
Exhale, bring the hands back down. Now step your back foot all the way to the front. As you inhale, come halfway up and lengthen. On your exhale, fold forward, hips over heels. Press down through your feet to rise up. Inhale, look up if it's okay with your neck. And exhale, bring the hands down. We'll do the same thing starting with the other leg. Inhale, sweep your arms out, around and up. Exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen. As you exhale, step your left foot way back and take the left knee down. Right knee stays over ankle as you rise up on your inhale. Exhale, pull the right hip back. Bring your hands down, step back to plank. Knees can be up or down, take a breath in and as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Hands by low ribs, inhale cobra, a low one or a high one. And then lower back down, exhale. Tucking toes under, press up to plank, knees up or down, and then stretching into down dog. As you inhale, float the left leg back and up. Exhale, lightly step it up and take the right knee down. Rise up on your inhale, left knee over ankle just for a breath as you sink in, stretching those hip flexors. And then exhale, hands down, step the back foot all the way to the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take your feet hips width apart, grab your elbows and hang, or you can hold onto your feet. Or if you wanna go in even deeper, you can reach and hold on behind the thighs, maybe sliding the hands down and holding on to the calves. But reach the crown of your head toward the floor and lift your shoulders away from the floor. Make sure your hips are directly above your heels if your legs are straight. And inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands to hips, and come all the way up to stand. Turn to face the long side of your mat. Step your feet out wide. Turn your right leg all the way out and your back toes in a little. Make sure to turn the leg from the hip. Arms up, inhale. Bend the right knee over the ankle, exhale, warrior two. Take a look and make sure the knee is directly above the ankle and it points over the middle toes. Sometimes the knee has a tendency to drift toward the big toe. So drop your front sitting bone under you and that will help to direct the knee. Lift your chest, relax around the neck, keep your breath steady. Press down into the front heel, through the outer edge of the back foot and lift the back inner thigh up. Now drop the left arm, reverse your warrior, exhale, bend into the right knee. And then inhale, come on up to warrior two a moment and straighten the leg. Feet to parallel to the other leg. Turn the left leg all the way out from the hip. Line up heel to arch with your feet. Exhale, bend in, warrior two. Once again, double check your knee is above your ankle and it points over the middle toes. So it moves toward the little toe side of the foot a little, a little bit. Drop your front hip down Press back through your back thigh and lift up through your back inner thigh. Gaze over the fingertips, relax around the neck. Keep your breath steady and soft. Your gaze soft. But arms and legs are strong and steady. Drop the right arm reverse, side stretch. Exhale, bending into that left knee. And then inhale to come up, back to warrior two, straighten the leg, point your toes in toward each other. Hands onto the hips, inhale, lengthen, look up gently, hinge from your hip creases, exhale, forward fold, fingertips down. Lengthen once again on your inhale, keep that length, and then fold forward, exhale, Prasrito Pada Tanasana A. Make sure the toes point in a little bit toward each other. Check where the weight is in your feet. If it's all in the heels, shift it gently toward the balls of your feet. 
And then firm your leg muscles, just hug them to the bones. From the outer hips in towards center, the inner thighs towards center. And gaze softly off the tip of your nose, Nasagra Drishti. As you inhale, come halfway up. As you exhale, bring hands to hips. Inhale all the way up with a nice long spine. Now turn your right leg all the way out from the hip again. Back toes in, heel to arch, both legs straight. Inhale, hinge from your front hip crease, reach, reach, reach out, and then take the right hand wherever it lands. Stretch up through the left fingertips. And you can look up or you can look forward or down. You can even let your head go. But try as best you can to lengthen from your right hip crease through your right armpit, bringing your bottom ribs forward and your top ribs spinning back. Firmly press down into the big toe mound of your right foot, pressing your calf to the shin. Breathe steady ujjayi. Continue keeping the legs firm without locking the joints. And now looking down to the foot as if someone's pulling you up by the top arm, come on up. Feet to parallel, left leg turns out, back toes in a little bit, heel to arch. Arms at shoulder height, inhale, hinge from your hip crease, reach out as far as you can, and then let that left hand come down wherever it lands. Could be on the shin, the floor, a block, it doesn't matter. You can reach the crown of the head forward and look up. If that doesn't feel right, look forward or down, or you can even let your head just go. But try to lengthen from your left hip crease through the left armpit. Keep the leg muscles firm as you draw your front sitting bone under you. Press down into the big toe mound of your left foot. Try to even out your inhales and your exhales as you're here. And then relax around the shoulders. On the inhale, come on up. Bring your feet to parallel, toes point in a little bit. Interlace your hands behind you, pinkies or, or sorry, thumbs or full fingers. Inhale, look up, exhale to come forward. Prasarita Padottanasana C. So if you do have the full interlace, try to press your palms together. Also, practice softening the elbow joints so they're not locking out. Check where the weight is in the feet. Again, if it's all in the heels, carefully this time shift it toward the balls of the feet. It can get a little tricky when your hands are not on the floor. Keep the breath steady and the muscles firm. Inhale, come up with a nice long spine, releasing the hands. And now turn your right leg all the way out again, back toes in a little, little longer stance if you happen to shorten it for triangle. Inhale the arms up, exhale, bend the knee over the ankle warrior two, then lean forward, taking right forearm on right thigh. Reach your left arm up and over in line with the ear. You can keep forearm on thigh, or you can slide your hand down to the floor, or maybe hold on to the ankle. And then looking up underneath the armpit, unless it bothers your neck. Keep that right knee over the ankle, and press through the outer edge of the back foot as you lift back inner thigh up. Draw the right sitting bone down, and imagine you could turn your belly button up toward the ceiling. Relax around the neck and breathe. Inhale, make your way up, feet to parallel. And then left leg out, back toes in slightly, heel to arch. Exhale, bend into warrior two. Lean your torso over the thigh, get a little length there. Left forearm down, right arm up and over. And then you can keep the forearm where it is or slide it down, hand to block or floor or hold your ankle. With your top arm, reach your fingertips out, spin your tricep down so the little pinky finger points down and the thumb points up. 
And then if your neck is okay with it, it's almost as if you're going to sniff your armpit and then you decide against it and look away. Chin up a little. Keep your belly turning toward the sky. And lift that back inner thigh. It has a tendency to want to collapse. Easy, steady ujjayi. Press the front heel down to come up, inhale. Bringing your feet to parallel, but then turning your toes out and your heels in and bending the knees. Point the knees in line with the middle toes with your hands resting just above the knees. Drop your tailbone down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Try and tilt your pelvis up slightly so hip bones lift to low ribs. Keep sinking down through your sitting bones. And then inhale, come up maybe halfway. Exhale, come back down, maybe a little lower, arms at shoulder height. Holding here. Inhale up about halfway. Exhale, sink down again, this time right arm over left for eagle arms, Garudasana. Lift your chest. Soften around your neck. Reach your fingertips up. You can also touch your opposite shoulders if it doesn't work to clasp your arms. Inhale, release everything. Stretch up, straighten the legs. Nice feeling. <laughs> Take a breath. Hands on hips. And then return, bending the knees. Drop your tailbone down. Lift your hip points up. Inhale, take the arms up, palms facing each other. Keep dropping down, lifting hip points up. And breathing, always steady breath. Come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, sink down maybe a little deeper. Take your arms out to shoulder height. Holding here for a breath. Widen your chest and collarbones. Come up halfway, inhale, exhale, sink down as much as you comfortably can, and then left over right. Eagle arms, or you can touch your opposite shoulders with your fingers. Drop your tailbone down, keep lifting hip points up as you sink, sink, sink down. Imagine there's a really heavy elephant on, the, on your outer thighs sinking you down. Release, inhale, come up. Take your arms to shoulder height, feet parallel, inhale. Step or hop, feet together, exhale, turn to the front. Back into Tadasana. Now inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward from your hip creases and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stepping back to plank pose. Now hold plank for a couple of breaths. So pull in through the belly, knees can come down at any time. Lift up through the pelvic floor muscles. Lift right between your shoulder blades, but move your chest forward. Reach through your heels. Reach the crown of your head forward. If the legs are up, lift the back of the knees toward the ceiling. Now we're going to drop the belly down and come into an up dog, but still with the toes tucked under. And then you have the option to lower down into cobra if that doesn't work for you. Otherwise, it's a variation of up dog. Toes are tucked under. Shoulders are still above the wrists. Inner thighs lift up. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Now lift your hips up and back again into down dog. Stretching back. Even out your breath. Remember, child's pose is always an option. You can push pause and take a break whenever you like. Don't have to be perfect. Inhale back into plank pose. Now step the feet together. Step the right hand toward the center of the mat. Side plank. Lift the left arm up. Option to take your bottom knee down for more support. If it's up, bring your left hip slightly forward. Lengthen the crown of the head forward, maybe looking up toward the top hand. 
Squeeze your outer hips gently, pull the belly in and up, lift your pelvic floor muscles as well. Firm the legs, firm all the muscles. It makes you feel lighter. Bring the top hand to your hip and come to plank pose. Take a breath here and then step the feet together, left hand towards center, right arm up. You can always take the left knee down. If it's up, bring your top hip slightly forward. Engage through the lower belly, pull it in and up. Lift up through the pelvic floor muscles, pull them in and up, all of them. Outer hips pinning in towards center. Lengthen tailbone to heels. Reach crown of the head toward away from the feet. And then back to plank pose. Drop the hips down into that strange up dog or different up dog. And then back to down dog. Don't want to call it strange. You may love it. Just something different. Even out the breath. Let your head hang and then bend the knees. And step your feet forward. As you inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, fold forward. Press through the feet and rise up, inhaling. And exhale, bring the hands Samastitihi. Turn again to the long side of your mat and step your feet nice and wide. Bring your hands in front of you and interlace your fingers. Inhale, take the arms up by the ears. Now turn towards your back leg, hinge from your hip creases and fold over that leg. It's a little bit different than our regular pyramid pose. The hips won't be quite as squared. But you can pull back on that right hip or that back leg hip. Just lengthen your torso over the leg as best you can. Let your shoulders relax. Inhale, now come up with a really flat back and come to center. Exhale, release your interlace and then re-interlace. Toes are still pointed a little bit forward. You can turn that front leg out a bit as needed. Otherwise, you can try it with the toes pointed straight ahead. Lengthen, lengthen your spine. Of course, your hands may not reach it to the floor. It doesn't matter. Do what you can. Breathe, stretching out, and then come up with a nice flat back inhale, really working our back muscles. And release. Now we're going to square up the hips and shoulders to the back of the mat. Line up heel to heel or a little wider. Interlace fingers, inhale. This time as you exhale, we'll hinge from the hip creases and come forward more like the regular pyramid or Parsvottanasana that we do. So the front leg, pull that hip back, press down into the big toe mound or the leg that your thigh is over. Press into that big toe mound. Pull that hip back. And breathe. Let your head hang and now look up. As you inhale, keep arms and ears in line and come up with a nice strong back. Bring your feet to parallel and now we'll turn to the front, so the left leg's in front. Make sure you're heel to heel or wider, so hips and shoulders square to the front of the mat. Interlace other pinky, palms face up. Exhale, hinge forward from your hip creases and come forward. Keep the length through the spine, pulling the left hip back and pressing into the big toe mound of the left foot. Imagine you're holding a block between your inner thighs. So inner thighs are squeezing in, outer hips are squeezing in, and lift the pelvic floor muscles and the belly muscles. It all helps to keep your stability. Sorry about the sirens. Hope everyone's okay. Now inhale, come up with a nice long spine and take your feet again to parallel. Hands onto the hips. Open the chest as you inhale. Hinge from your hip creases as you exhale. I don't know if you can hear the dog next door howling. <laughs> inhale, walk your hands over toward your left foot and reach up through the right hand. Twist. So you can keep your left hand toward the center of the mat and twist from there. Or you can walk your hand over toward the foot. And the more you walk to the foot, the bigger the twist you'll feel. 
left, but both toes are facing the front. Imagine you could touch your belly towards your upper thigh as you're twisting. Make your way to center. Inhale, come halfway up. Keep the right hand down, left arm up, twist. Stay right there. You can start moving your right hand over to the foot. Maybe grab the ankle if you reach. And then see if you can pull your chest toward that thigh. This is actually a variation of twisted triangle pose. Take another long breath here. Keep the legs and belly firm. And then to center. Look up, inhale. Hands to hips, exhale. And all the way to center, inhale. Take the arms up, inhale. Step or hop together, exhale. And turn and face the front. Back to your Tadasana. A little balance. Grounding through the left leg, take your right foot up for tree. Anywhere above or below the knee is safest. Bring hands to heart and inhale, sweep your arms up. Try and drop your right hip down as you pin your left hip in towards center. Keep a steady gazing point that will help with your balance. Now taking your hands to hips, bend your standing leg a little, cross your right leg on top of the left. You can cross it once or wrap it all the way around. If you fall out, just come back in. That's what I did. And then taking arms to shoulder height, bring your left arm over right for Garudasana Eagle Pose. And lift your chest, relax around your neck. Our next door neighbor dog is saying hello <laughs> and then slowly release it back to center and now we'll do the second side so grounding down through the right leg this time pick up the left foot anywhere below above or below the knee is safest drop your left hip down squeeze the right hip in add the arms arrow straight arms keep a steady gazing point Press the foot into the leg, the leg back into the foot. Pull up through your pelvic floor muscles and your belly muscles. They'll help with balance too. Hands to hips. Bend the standing leg. Now cross left over right. Or is that right over left? And then right arm on top of left. So crossing the lifted leg over the standing leg. And then lift the elbows, fingertips up, squeeze the legs, outer hips pin in. And then slowly release and make your way back to center. Garudasana. It's good for firming the outer hips. Inhale, reach up. And exhale to fold. Inhale, come halfway lift. As you exhale, step back into plank pose. Inhale, drop the belly into that up dog, or if you prefer the cobra, do that. Exhale, lift the hips for down dog. Lightly step or hop and sit, and then roll yourself onto your back. Heels underneath the knees, outer edges of feet parallel. Inhale, lifting hips, low back, mid back, maybe upper back. You can grab the sides of the mat and pull or interlace, or roll your shoulders under, and then interlace your fingers. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees, spiral your thighs in toward one another, and keep your neck long. Make sure your toes don't have the tendency to turn out, because that'll compress your back. Now see if you can lift your bridge up a little bit higher for a moment, and then come down. Soles of feet together, knees apart, hand on your heart center, hand on your belly. Think of three things that you're grateful for today, in this moment. Now return your feet. Coming again into bridge, roll the shoulders under and interlace or Walk in a little bit closer and see if you can hold on to your ankles or heels with your hands. If you can reach them, 
focus on bringing the back bend up toward your upper back some more. So your chest will move toward your chin even though your neck will stay long. So your chin won't move toward the chest. So keep the neck long, but lift the chest toward the chin. Spiral the thighs in toward each other. And then come down to rest, soles of feet together, knees apart, and think of three things that you really, really like about yourself. Any three. Now you can do another bridge, or if you want to take a wheel, hands up by the ears first, come to the crown of the head, then walk in so wrists and elbows line up, and then straighten through the arms. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are still turning in toward one another. Spiral your thighs down toward the mat like you're holding a block, and then press a little bit toward the chest, but then lengthen your butt toward the backs of your knees. To come out, chin into chest and lower slowly and then this time we'll hug the knees in and gently rock a little side to side and now we can roll to the right and press up or rock up and down your spine two or three times and come up to seated that way extend the legs pull the toes back keep the heels down sit up tall inhale reach up Hinge from your hip creases, exhale forward. Lengthen as you inhale, keep that length as you exhale for Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Now, if you happen to be someone who sits in Dandasana staff pose and it's really hard for you to lengthen your spine and sit up tall, you would probably enjoy sitting on the edge of a blanket or a pillow when you take that pose or when you take any of these seated forward folds. So something to keep in mind. Remember, keep pulling your toes back, flexing the ankles. That will keep your leg muscles firm. Then inhale with arms by ears. We'll come on up. Bending the right knee and then the left knee. Roll yourself onto your back. Knees are bent. Pick up your hips. Take them over to the right. Drop your knees to the left. You can cross the right knee over the left for a deeper twist. Look over your right shoulder if that's fine with your neck. And as you breathe here, turn your belly up toward the ceiling and take long, smooth Ujjayi breaths. Inhale to center. Take your hips to the left and drop your knees over to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Turn the belly up toward the ceiling. And as you breathe here, relax everything else. And by the way, if you're enjoying Fight Master Yoga, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I like when you subscribe. Now bring the knees to center, hips to center, hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. We'll set up for Shavasana. Make sure to lengthen your sitting bones to lengthen out the low back. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Let your feet flop open. Take your arms away from your body, palms up. And then let your body totally relax. Release your forehead and your jaw. Quiet mind quiet body, Shavasana.
continue to rest a little bit longer, but just bring your awareness back for our quote from B.K.S. Iyengar. Hatha yoga teaches us to use the body as a bow, asana as the arrow, and the soul the target. Start making movements now, reaching through arms and legs, hands and feet, a long stretch. And by the way, asana, it means seat, but it also means posture. Translates to comfortable seat, but actually means posture. Roll to your right and make your way up to seated. Crossing out your shins, sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Hands to your forehead, reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart center, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth, reminding you to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy out to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Now, if you would really like to strengthen your core muscles, and I know you need a strong core for all of these yoga classes, plus it keeps your back healthy and, and safe, I have a free class for you. There's a link right below. Click it, and I'll send the class right over to you. If you enjoyed this Hatha Yoga class, I have a full 30-day Hatha Yoga happiness that I know you will love and you can start it right here.